Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? So I finally hopped on to the last car of the Black Panther hype train. Now for a movie that made $200 million opening weekend and has a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, I was sitting there watching it and I was kind of like, okay, I don't know if it's that good, but it was still a good time at the movies and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I'm not even going to bother telling you the plot because it's a superhero movie. There's a superhero, there's a villain, they show each other the hands, you know what it is. Best part about the movie though, bar none, is that this movie is very strongly written. All the relationships between all the main characters and kind of like the pacing to the villain's motivation, like and pretty much everything about the writing of this movie is on point. The only problems that I have with the movie were like practical executions of everything. The biggest complaint that I have is probably that some of the CGI is very, very, very noticeable CGI. And by that I mean there was at least a couple scenes where I could very vividly tell that they were standing in front of a green screen. And there was also some fight scenes with CGI in it that were like very, very blatant. Like it just kind of took me out of the movie several times. But the CGI with some of the landscapes was fucking awesome though. Anytime you get a wide shot of Wakanda or just like the cityscapes in general, like that stuff looks really, really really fucking good. Like, the whole design of Wakanda was awesome, despite the fact that, you know, they have, like, decades of comic books to go off of. And this might sound unpopular, the only other thing that I didn't like about the movie was Michael B. Jordan, which is weird, because he was the person that I was most hyped up for before I saw the movie. Because he was awesome in Chronicle, so I expected a dope-ass performance out of him. But it's like I said with the writing, like, this is one of those instances where the villain is way better written than it was performed. Because not so much in the first half, but later on in the movie, it's just every line, it had to be, like, something prophetic, like, it had to be a big deal. Like, he was trying to be Malcolm X with, like, every every line. And if you look at the way the character's written, it's that character's not just anger. To carry out his plans, he has to be pretty methodical. Like, there's a lot more to him than just, like, this loud rage, and I thought he was he was just too simplistic about it. Except for some bits and pieces of the third act of the movie, I thought he, like, really shined and really showed what the character should have been. But honestly, other than that, this was a really good movie. The three kind of co-female leads were all really great. The brother-sister relationship between Black Panther and his little sister is fucking on point. It's like the perfect amount of bickering, but they still really love each other, and they got each other's back. And his sister, ultimately, to me, is the most interesting character in the movie. And I also love the way Danae Guerrera and Lupita Nyong'o's character kind of, like, clash. Or not really clash, they just have differing opinions. Like, they have the same joint goal, but their methods are different, and they display that very clearly in one scene in particular. And just in general, I thought most of the characters had really good chemistry with one another. And I also thought Andy Serkis annihilated as Ulysses Claw. Like, this dude's not just good at motion capture, he's just a good actor, period. But I thought the music was pretty good. It wasn't anything super special, but I mean, that's kind of typical for Marvel movies, really. And Martin Freeman, I didn't think he was that good in the movie. But again, his character, extremely well written because his character kind of served as this kind of metaphor for like philosophical differences that Wakanda has towards the rest of the world. I don't want to give it away, but if you think about it for a minute, it makes sense. But anyway, guys, overall, I did like the movie quite a bit. However, I did have some serious qualms with it. So I think for a score, I'm going to give it an 8.3 out of 10. Great time at the movies. It's really good from like a cultural standpoint. And it was well worth the price of admission. And if somebody wants to go see it, I'd go see it again. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you seen Black Panther? yet? Are you on the hype train? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe to all that other bullshit, and I will catch you guys later.